God has called us as a people. Here's our quote of the morning. We must grant others the same forgiveness we desire. How many times have you thought about the thing that you never wanted anybody else to know? People all the time say, well, what about this person? Should we forgive him? What about that person? Should we forgive him? Let me just ask you this. Think about the things that you've done. I'm not talking about your testimony, you know, because most people use that just to brag on. That's just a bragging point. They're not ashamed of it. You know, they talk about it all the time. They want people to know what they were. They're still living in the past. But I'm talking about that thing that you haven't told anybody and only you and God and maybe a couple other people know about it. And you've been asking God for forgiveness. And guess what? You don't want other people to bring it up. Even when they even look at you, you already know what they're thinking. And God is saying to us as a people, give it over to me. Stop holding these grudges. My, my mother gave me a quote. I, I'll probably get it wrong, but it went something like this. It said, um, holding a grudge is like allowing someone to rent space in your head. We have to let this, these things go. Here's your question of the morning. How many times should we forgive? I, I answered it according, according to the math that I, that I did in uh, uh, Matthew 18. This is how Jesus answered. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? So he's operating according to the law. Look at how Jesus answers him. I tell you not seven times, but 70 times seven. A little quick math for you at the top, 490 times. See, I'm not telling you that you need to do any, that you need to let people abuse you. I'm not trying to get you to a level where you understand, forgive, and forget. I'm telling you that in order to have a plan of forgiveness, you have to relinquish your plan of action to get even. That's what it means. It means that you are no longer in control of retribution. And then what you've done is you've said to God, Lord, you handle this. It's not my job to try to pay him back. It's not my job to try to get her back because I didn't like what was happening. And the thing that I love about God is when he settles disputes, he settles them permanently.